What's up guys, uh, part 2 of Anything But ASIC Start Mining Now series. And, let's see, we're gonna go to Hero Miners, right. And get started, Hero Miners, um, Miner Rocks is another good one, but they don't have Monero mining. So, we're going to... At the, end of this, at the end of this video, you're going to be able to load a bash script to start mining on Hero Miners at their uh, Monero sector. Let's go here, go to Monero, and see what you want need. What you're going to need is a wallet. So, Monero paper wallet generator, or just wallet generator. You want to go look for. Monero wallet generator and it should be an offline wallet generator and you do have an option for Aeon if you want Aeon uh, which is Monero Lite and they've given up ASIC resistance so you know um, no ASICs have actually come to mine Aeon but um, they're open for it so uh, let's see, Monero, we're gonna generate a wallet. Generally, when you click on here, a wallet's already generated. So, what you wanna do is you wanna open up a text editor. And you just wanna grab the C key. Copy that. And paste this onto your text file like that and right seed and this is Monero and you want to get your public address where's your public address public address and the public address is really the only thing you want to share with anybody let's put view and run your view key and grab that and your spin key you don't want to share these with anybody. View key and spin key. View key and spin key are important for more advanced things. And there you go. You have a paper Monero wallet. Let's just put this on a a USB somewhere. This like, and you can find an encrypted USB, and you can just lock lock it in there, or you can set up this um, this untitled document in a folder that's locked to the root account. But for now, right now, I'm just gonna save it to the public folder. <laughs> Monero. Just don't make it as obvious as Monero Wallet. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so Hero Miners, you go to the start page and it'll have your script, your executable script for that's Windows control. You want to go back to your terminal and go into XM Rig. XM Rig and into the build folder. And you want to 
open the text editor, editor, you know, and title your bash script whatever you want and end it with sh press enter and you take that um, script from the start menu that you just copied and control shift V that's in there and I'm going to copy your wallet address I should have closed that that you just got just copy your public address control C copy that into the terminal where it says and you want to just make up a worker name or you can make up a password don't check the passwords just make up a worker name or whatever they don't use the passwords anyways this is uh, all anonymous and you want to change this out to from xmrig.com exe which is windows to dot forward slash xm rig and there you have it your basic setup to start mining so control x yes you want to save it press enter and you want to bash monero dot SH and it should start mining. Now, uh, for the Linux environment, you actually get a advantage of let's see, you're capable of using Fortress. Do you actually get advantage of huge pages? Huge pages gives you extra hash reboots, and on the Ryzen's, you get a extra hash rate boost using the optimization um, random x dash one gigabyte pages will give you a little bit more hash rate by using a little bit more memory optimization and that's it now you still have your you still have your uh, public your public address copied go back to the home and scroll down and you want to put in your public address here and look up and here you are you are now mining and it's now being recorded and in about six to eight hours to show your actual hash rate of what you've been mining and it'll fluctuate up and down until then and it'll eventually stabilize after about a day or so and there you have it using two threads now you get the option of four threads but hyper threading on random X doesn't exactly make you make you faster or get you more hash so you can do it if you want. Some people know how to optimize that. I, I don't, I haven't really messed with it. The basic settings and the few optimizations that I have do it for me. But there you have it on uh, just the old 2000.